If you need to connect to SAP HANA, which is an enterprise in-memory analytics system, you can do that in Power BI very easily. We have two options to connect. You can either import your data, which allows you to use modeling capabilities in Power BI and work remotely, or you can choose to use direct query mode, which will let you connect directly to the server and use the power of the server and just use Power BI as your visualization layer. But let me show you how. When you're in Power BI in the Get Data screen, you can just search for SAP and you'll find SAP on it here. You can hit connect. You enter in your server information and you can choose here if you want to import it or do direct query. I'll pick direct query. And now I hit OK. And if this is your first time, it'll ask for your credentials, but in my case it remembered, so I don't have to enter them again. And now I can navigate down to find the model that I want to connect to. And then I can select the fields that I want. So I want returned, sold, color, country, and product. And once I selected everything I want to use in my Power BI report, I can click load. It will start creating that live connection. And once it's done, I'll see all the fields I selected here in the fields list. And then I can start dragging and dropping them just like any other fields in Power BI. So I'll select country and sold. And I want to make this a bar chart. And then I can also drag on color and returned and make this also a bar chart. And then just like any other charts in Power BI, I can do things like cross highlight. And these work just like any other Power BI charts. I can go in and mess with formatting. I can do all the kinds of cross highlighting and filtering and all the other powerful visualization features we have in Power BI.